Welcome. Today's lesson is how to determine soil texture by feel. Soil texture primarily is determined uh, by the size of each of the particles. And there are three basic ones. We have sand, silt, and clay. The sand is the, the largest of the three, and it has kind of a gritty feel to it. When we get to the middle part of it, it's kind of a sweet spot. It has lots of different um, sizes. They're of medium size, which gives it that kind of slick kind of feel. And then lastly, the, the microscopic one, the one that's really, really small, and that's clay. And clay has a more of a sticky, heavy kind of a feel once we, we get into it. So today what I want to do is I want to show you how to prepare your soil so that you can actually determine its texture based on... In order to do this, we're going to have a, some few basic tools that we're going to be using. First of all, we need a, a good soil sample. And I got this at the local community college. And uh, I've, you're going to need a mortar and pestle. And what you're going to have to do is have to grind it pretty hard to be able to get it pretty much as consistently... Um, broken down as, as much as you, you can w without ruining it too much. I've got most of the uh, organic matter out of the way and I also got a lot of the, the small pebbles and stones that are on it as well. Also a plate. This is where you're going to mix up some of the soil with water. You're going to need that. You're going to need this squeeze bottle full of water as well. I like to also measure my soil in one of these soil vials um, and I would probably put this at uh, close to 30 to, to 40 mls of it and of course you're going to need a ruler um, that's going to be a, a real essential piece and then lastly you're going to need some kind of flow chart uh, because as you feel it this flow chart will direct us to which way we're going to be going this you can find on the nrcs website um, under soil quality and you, th that way you can uh, kind of just download it and uh, then use this I use this a lot in, in the classroom. Uh, it's it's kind of a skill, quite frankly, and, and it makes uh, students need to kind of spend some time with it. They'll probably make three or four before they get it right, but this this thing right there, the flowchart, really does uh, support them. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. The very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and measure out uh, 30 mLs so that I have the right amount. And uh, the thing is, it's going to get dirty. Everything is going to get dirty here pretty quick, so you want to make sure that you have plenty of extra soil on hand. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put it right here in the middle of, of the plate, and then I'm going to uh, kind of massage this soil to get it just the right consistency. All right, I picked out a, a little bit more of the organic matter and some of the stones and that sort of thing. What we're going to be doing is, first of all, i got to moisten it up. And I, I'm taking my, my time with this. You don't want to get it too wet right after the start. So now that I've got it wet on the top, now I'm going to like throw this kind of stuff together. And then it's going to be pretty sticky, but I'm already feeling um, the particles in here. I can feel that, that it's really smooth. I can also feel it sticky as well. I don't feel a lot of grit. There's a little bit, but not much. And um, this particular sample was kind of in the... Uh, a crop area right behind the college and it had been worked or the soil has and so I feel like this is going to be probably a pretty good a sample now one of the things that you're going to have to teach your students is take their time and make sure the moisture is even throughout this entire matrix and you should be able to Roll the nice little ball up. Now when you're doing this, you're also squeezing out a little bit of the moisture, not necessarily water. If you're doing this and you're squeezing out a lot of water, you've got way too much and I'll get some more soil, dry soil, to suck that up. And so, it's, this is gonna take a little bit of time and a little bit of effort to, to get used to it. Now you should have your your flow chart for the from the NRCS because it'll make the job a lot easier because all you have to do is read each of the boxes and it tells you either yes or no and then you just follow the flow of it uh, 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 follow the flow of it now I'm already thinking that I kind of know what texture this is 
it definitely has silt in it and it definitely has clay in it. Now, how much it is? Well, we'll be able to figure that out when we make this into a ribbon. Now, when I'm making a ribbon, once I have it at a, a, a consistency so that when I, if I squeeze it, no water comes out. And this is the probably in pretty good shape as far as the, the amount of moisture. So you're going to put it in your hand and you're going to make kind of coddle it or, or hug it with your with your index finger. And then I'm gonna be pushing it out using my thumb. So it kind of looks like this. And, and I'm just being very slow and methodical about it. I know at some point it's gonna give away and there it goes. So this is a ribbon. And I, I'm gonna do it again one more time so you can see what I did. And it's not, the, it's not the most accurate way to determine the texture, but in terms of being in the field, uh, you and your students can usually make some pretty close guesstimations. Uh, obviously, when you get a, a, a soil sample done at a lab, you're going to get an accurate reading, obviously. But um, for students, uh, it's, I think it's important for them to be able to kind of feel all of the different components that are in soil, the sand, the silt, and the clay. So here we go. We're going to do it again. I'm going to hug it with my index finger, and then I'm going to use my thumb to push it through. And if, it's, if it gets too far out from my um, index finger, I pr bring it back in. And you just squeeze it until, all right, there we go. It came right off. This is a ribbon. That is a ribbon. Now, what you're going to do next is you've got to measure that. And when I measure it, it's at about five, yeah, about five and a half centimeters. So that's not a, a super strong one, but it's kind of medium in its, in, in its length. Uh, but it's definitely not weak either. Um, so what we're going to do next is we're going to go down through our... Let's go down through our flow chart. First thing that it said... Uh, place approximately 25 grams uh, in the palm, add water. And then uh, then what it says right here, uh, does the soil remain in a ball when squeezed? Yes, it does. So I'm going to go from here to there. And then place the ball in between the thumb, and does it make a ribbon? Yes, it does. So I go down here. Now I have three choices. Um, is the ribbon weak? Uh, in other words, is it less than 2.5 centimeters? No, it's a... It's almost strong, uh, but it's 2.5 to 5. Um, I could have gone over here, um, but I've done it twice, and it's close to 5, so I'm going to go with this one. So as we go down here, it says excessively wet a small pinch of water. So I'm going to do that. So I'll get a little soil, and then I'm going to get excessively wet, and then it wants you to squeeze it. As I'm squeezing it and doing this, I feel how smooth it is. But again, there's a, some stickiness in it as well. So those two things, smooth and sticky, you should uh, remember that because now we're gonna go to the last leg of this flow chart. And then it says, does it feel very gritty? Uh, no, not really. Does it feel very smooth? That it does. So it's silt clay loam. Oh. And when I look it up on our map, sure enough, it is a silty clay loam. So make sure you have one of these. It's, it's invaluable in terms of determining the, um, the, the texture of the soil. And of course, the texture of the soil is the thing that uh, will dictate, like for instance, the amount of water uh, it can hold, the percolation um, that that the that the soil uh, can ha have, also the amount of uh, nutrients that can be uh, kept in the soil. All of that is important because of soil texture.